everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human! So, it's been a little while since I played and I'm really, really excited to get back into it. So, let's just immediately do that. I started at the... The... Start screen? Wait, menu? Start menu? Start menu? Right now? Because I remembered that last time we left off um, in the flowchart. So, I didn't want to accidentally start the intro of the next scene already. So, hopefully it works now. Also, as you can see, I moved my camera. I hope this is a better spot. I saw after editing last uh, few episodes, I saw that I was actually blocking the the view of how our relationships change, so if they go up or down, uh, as well as the view of the public, I think, and our instability. So yeah, I hope this is a better spot. This is going to be Connor again. Oh no, it might actually be Kara and, and Ellis, because they took the, the bus, right? Yes. They're All so right. cute together. End the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Now you guys can see it, right? <laughs> Or that way, actually. That way. Wake up. Wake up. We have to go. Shelter? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Oh, come on. The rain looks so pretty in this game. Spend the night. No, oh, poor Ellis. Come on, Ellis, we've got to hurry. Find shelter for tonight. Okay. No shelter here. Always turn around first, you know, see if there's something there. Um, also... Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything to interact with here anyway. So we have a burger zone here. With... Maybe we can go in there? No androids allowed. No, probably not then. Talk? Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> Please talk. There we go. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? What's wrong with him? Is he in some sort of like sleep mode? So there's also two locked options. So you can go to that store and further up there's also stuff. Oh, this is actually really, really big. So we also have this one. Won't open before morning. Open 24-7, can't stay. Comfortable but not discreet, will need money. Comfortable but safe. How to get in. Oh, uncomfortable but safe. How to get in. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna go for safe. Very uncomfortable but discreet. Ah, uh, 
that's not go very uncomfortable. Open 24 7 can't sleep here, ask for help. We could try that maybe. Oh, and this one, there you go. Shop is closed, okay. Check motel, check house, check parking lot. Let's see if we can do anything here. They said it was closed, but. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Stay with me, Alice, please. So I want to find the safest spot. Wait. I don't under watch over Alice. Return to Alice. Oh. Oh, oh Alice! <laughs> don't go up without me, please! <laughs> Let's keep holding hands. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Oh. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. I'm not sure if I trust him. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Okay, so what did that do for us? And can I go this way now? I wanted to check the store. Also, I wonder how far we can go, or Look, is there the store still open? Maybe we should yeah, go yeah. inside. At least Wait. you'll be out of the cold. Okay, no shelter here. That's what I will say. Okay, cool. So let's check the store then. Find some help, convince Cashier to. To what? What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? <laughs> Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Oh, no. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Steal. Shoplift, rob. Oh, I have the gun! <gasps> I forgot about that. I'm not just going to do that. Okay. Is that the camera? That's the camera, right? There's also something there. Another camera. I mean, I have to say, I'm not a fan of guns, but I do feel a bit safer now that we have a gun. I'm not going to rob him, of course, but... But... Oh... There's so many cameras, okay. So clearly we shouldn't try to steal. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even sure if I would want to anyway, but... Oh, we can take. Food for her. I mean, I do feel like it's important to have some food for her. But... I don't want to just steal that. What just unlocked? What are unlocked? Oh, talking with Alice, okay. Use Alice. Oh no, I'm not going to use Alice, no way. I'm not going to use Alice. Gun again. <laughs> Use Alice for diversion? No. 
I'm not going to make a child participate in crimes right now. No! I didn't... No! I didn't want to take it! No, 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 no! I was trying to look around! No, put back. Okay, put back. Okay, put back. Ooh, because there's a camera right there. <laughs> like, right there. I'm not sure if we should do this, guys. Oh, I'm really doubtful right now. She needs some food, though, at some point. No, I... No, 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 not right now. Kara, Kara's a good guy. Well, maybe we'll find another way to... Can I make you come with me? No. Um, does she just follow me if I leave? I'm not going to use a gun. Ugh! I'm scared of accidentally triggering the gun use. Is she coming with me now? Yeah, she is. Okay. So we had this one, but this one didn't seem too good. Very uncomfortable, she said. So I'm going to try the thing on the side here. I also think using the motel won't be any good. Like, they will search for us there, right? What was the other option? Somewhere over there. Laundromatic. I don't know what, why would we want to go there? Try to sleep there? What's the, the reason for wanting to go there? There's two things here to do. Can I enter? I don't know. No, I'm <laughs> trying to enter. <gasps> the controls sometimes, guys. <laughs> You'll feel better in no time. Change of clothes. Okay. Oh, we can talk to Ellis? Can we? Oh, no, no, no. There's a magazine. Century. Pollinating bees officially extinct. Oh, no. The bee line to the <laughs> That's a bad pun. <laughs> the bee line to disaster. Cybersecurity experts warns your android could be hacked. Dating website discovered to have less than 5% female members. Oh. The bee line to disaster. Pollinating bees officially extinct. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute for Endangered Species announced at their Washington a AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens only exist in captivity. Exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony, colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides and crops, parasites, and pollution. Yeah, that's definitely true. The consequence of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supplies, and, most disturbingly, agriculture. Yeah, definitely in agriculture. Environmentalist uh, Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. CyberLife, in cooperation with GIS, have come forward... GIES? GIES have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches such as Detroit Urban Farms, currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity, but there's no gar guarantee that they will thrive. Actually, I like this. This is in my field, guys. This is biology. I like this. Gossips Weekly. My husband got an android pregnant. Story inside. Wait, what the frick? What? No, that can't be true, right? You can't get androids pregnant. Can you? <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's time to face the music. Live concerts to make a comeback. Wait, they're not doing live concerts anymore? <laughs> Just like us, I guess. Ten ways to please your man and keep him. Wow, okay. Yeah, let's read all of this. For the younger generation, watching concerts in VR has become the norm. And who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's a cheap, safe, and no-hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Revolutionized. Nina and Kosuke Music 
have launched a campaign to bring back old school concerts with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, NKM spokesperson, explains the culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past, but we want to bring that back. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I definitely agree. Live concerts are so amazing. Just the whole whole feeling you get when you're there. Break to All will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. The hype, the applause, the screams, you just don't get that seat sitting on your sofa. If this proves a success, NKM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which should be a music to fans ears. I mean, come on, festivals are so popular, I can't imagine that ever dying out. Can I talk to Alice? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Nothing in there. Can I do something with that? That's the magazine that we read. Also empty. Program completes. Oh, we could steal his clothes. Ah, but all the stealing, I don't like it. Can't we just politely ask him if we can have his clothes because she's drenched? I'm not going to steal. Let's first check all of our options before we even think about stealing anything. I don't want to do that right now. I hope she at least managed to warm a little bit. Get a motel. Motel, I'm not so sure about. Let's go this way. Wait, there's two options here. What are the two options? One looks to be at the board. Private property trespassers will be prosecuted. Rebuild Southwest Detroit. A better place to live. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look that... Oh no, oh poor Alice. Doesn't look that appealing on there, I have to say. An abandoned house. That's At good. We'd be out of the rain. Yeah. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. You can cut fence here with a wire cutter. Mm. We don't have a wire cutter, though. Hmm. I saw one in the store. I saw one there, but I don't... I don't want to steal. Is there no option to not steal? I'm going to check out the shady place. Just because... <laughs> I want to try everything first before we steal. Maybe, maybe that's a good place to sleep. <laughs> Probably not. Sleep in abandoned car. Hmm. Maybe we can find some useful stuff here. I don't really want to sleep in the car. Um. doesn't seem smart at all. Is that a, is that a wire cutter? <gasps> See, that's what I want. Oh, we got it for free now. Okay, awesome. And we can cut it here. Wait, does this bring us to the house as well? We can cut it there as well. So, get inside car or cut squat fence. So I can cut there. I don't know about that. Let's not do it that. Looks abandoned. Break? No, let's, let's not. Let's cut this fence. Be. 
There you go. Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. I hope we're not leaving any clues. Like, for example, if this made her bleed, then maybe she leaves her blue blood around. Uh, RB. I hope that's Don't not worry, the case. Don't worry, just having a look. Find a way in. Just want to explore everything. See if I didn't miss anything else. I mean, that seems to be the car, right? Is that the car? Wait, is it? Or is that just our way back? Maybe. Leave. Yeah, that's not what I want. Okay. Can I run? Did they explain if I can run? I don't remember. There's multiple ways here. Can we? I can pull that. I can look. Let's look first. Okay, well, looks abandoned. What other options do we have? The door. Let's just check here real quickly. <laughs> No? Alice? Uh oh. Alice! Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I make a mistake? Where's Alice? Where's Alice? Alice? <gasps> Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Oh, I made a mistake. Beth doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. I should have gone to the motel. Uh, little girl? She's just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she wants to hurt Ralph. Well, you went from red to... Uh, uh, innocent. I don't know what the humans uh, did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Uh oh Android? Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. Maybe we should have done that All first. <laughs> Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Oh, I feel kind of sorry for him. Actually, they're really sorry. Gun, no. Insist, reassure. Going to reassure. Have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. Poor guy. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Uh, car, motel. Oh. I mean, he seems okay. He doesn't seem like Let's a bad guy. <laughs> oh, that, okay. Don't dance Come with on. the knife, though. Don't put the knife away. Come. Please. Come, ah. Come okay, I may, I may have made a mistake. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, he's a bit creepy. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Oh. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> Oh. I may have made a mistake. Come on. You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He would like to stay oh, with you. Poor Alice. But he has things to do. Oh. What things? He isn't like a murderer, so right? Taking revenge we'll on the humans. Tomorrow. Right. I hope. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Poor Alice. 
poor Ella's. Make a bed for Ella's and start a fire. Can we talk to her? Oh, what can I take? I could take something. There we go. Oh! Kindling. Great. Let's put the paper in. I don't know what this is. Ah, meshes. Okay, collect wood. Um, let's see what's in here. Air nine. <gasps> We've seen that before. Oh, that might be problematic. <laughs> I'm alive. Yeah, that's what the. I don't know if we know his name. If we did, I forgot. But the the one that we captured in the attic, he wrote that as well with the blood of the, the guy that died. Or that he killed, I guess. Oi. Oh, this is so creepy. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? Does he not know he's doing it? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. That's creepy. Fine blanket. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Ugh! This is so creepy. So we have multiple things here. Uh, okay. Wood. That we can take. Don't think we should leave though. So the other option was just to leave, right? I think. Oh, there's a lamp here. Can we put on the lamp? Oh, now we can... Okay, I think we just need to put the wood in. <laughs> God, the wall king. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's put that in. <laughs> no, no, let's put that in. There we go. Oh, I hope a fire will help her. Hopefully, that will dry her off. Then we didn't have to steal anything. So far, we haven't stolen anything. Yes, please go sit very close to the fire. That's so great. I love, love, love. Fires like this. I really want a fireplace myself as well at some point. Can we talk to her now? Let's see. No. Just want to make sure I don't miss out on any conversation I can possibly have with her. Oh, what's here? Oh! That's good. Place bed near fireplace. Is there anything we can do upstairs though? I don't know. Set up the bed first. You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. It's a shame we don't have any food for her, though. I feel really bad about that. Hmm. Oh, now I can talk to her. There we go. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? This All breaks I wanted my was a heart. Life like other girls. Oh my god, this breaks my heart. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. I promise, of course I promise. promise. Will we be together forever? Forever, sure. yeah.
yes, please, let's give her a kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. I'm gonna light with Alice. I'm sure she needs someone close to her right now. Oh, oh. Oh, this game, guys. Oh. Team and unlock shelter. Oh my god, look at all of this. <gasps> There's a lot to go through. <laughs> There's a lot to go through. Let's see, I also want to see the stats. Um, so 35 only, 35% uh, only completed of the chapter of Fugitives. Public opinion is still skeptical. Still don't know how we can change that. I, I don't think I've seen any change in that regard. And Alice is warm right now. So... We missed something. Oh, we never checked out... We never checked out the motel. What is the other option that we never did? So, okay, let's see laundromat, for example, here. So, this is all the stealing that we didn't do, I guess. Then here is the supermarket. There's also... Oh! 9% left the toy. I feel like those 9% are people like me who accidentally picked it up. <laughs> I feel like once you pick it up on purpose, you kind of have the intention to steal already, so you will steal it. So... <laughs> Notice can stack? I don't understand that. Notice can stack? Notice uh, cash register, we did that. So this is all the stealing that we could have done. Hmm... And we barely did any of that. Maybe we should have, guys. I'm not sure. Then we have this option here. This might be the motel, I guess. The one we see here. But we didn't do any of that. Uh, then the parking lot. So we left it again. But we also could have gone into the car. And then we would have had all of these options, I guess. I wonder what, what would have happened then. Probably not just us sitting down and sleeping. Otherwise, the options wouldn't be so long, I feel. And then we did this, we cut the parking lot fence, which is what 39% did, but we also were able to cut the other part, which is what we didn't do. Then we met Ralph, that will change stuff, right? Let's see. Cross chapter impact, yeah it is. Okay, cool. Oh, that's really nice. Convince. Doesn't seem like anything could have truly gone wrong. I don't see an, another outcome option here. Um... So we started a fire, made the bed, talked to Ellis. We made the promise. 2% didn't make the promise. That's interesting. Then we have two other options which we didn't even see. That's very interesting. I wonder how we missed that. And then we slept next to her. And the other option was watching her from the chair. And 3% did that. Okay. And we squatted in the house. 46%. Well, <laughs> this was awesome. Uh... Also very sad. It's uh, This game gives me so many emotions already. So I'm very curious to see how we're going to continue with all of the storylines. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.